Hello, this is John Howe. I'd like to say hello to all the readers and listeners of the paper. And uh, I'm very glad to be here in Shanghai. Extend warm welcome to you all. I honestly love Lord of the Rings, but I think even more than the Lord of the Rings itself, I love all the other things that go around it. All of the research Tolkien did, all of the subjects he explored, all of the fascinating history, the myth, the legend. And Tolkien is kind of like an open door to invite you inside to a very big universe. The universe of Middle Earth is interesting to illustrate because you need to illustrate not only the text, but also between the lines, everything that Tolkien doesn't say, but that you know is part of his thoughts and his, his interests. So it means a lot of research sometimes to make sure that you're not only illustrating the words in the text, but also everything that surrounds it. And I love that. Fantasy is what I prefer. That's where I feel the happiest. That's where I feel I have the, the most I can, I can say. So it, it may seem a little strange that a, a real grown up person spends all their time drawing things that aren't true. But I think that fantasy has the capacity to ask good questions about the real world, to give us understanding of many things. And uh, I, I find a great deal of satisfaction in, in fantasy illustration. Good fantasy art should be the artistic equivalent of The Lord of the Rings, which is once again a fantasy story, but it asks all kinds of very deep, very important questions. It's not just a story. Behind it there are many things that we can, we can learn and, uh, and appreciate. I think that young people who draw are young people who have something to communicate and to express, but they don't possess another way of doing it. It's about the things that you can say. And then what becomes very important is not being recognized for what you do, but having the opportunity to transmit these thoughts, emotions and feelings through whatever art form you've, you've decided to, um, to take. Art is a bit of a metaphor for life because you start out and life seems like something that's concentrated around you and you are in the center of it and then you realize that you no know, life is something else and you're a participant and a spectator but you're not necessarily the most important part of it but you can participate in important things. So I think there's a slow movement away from being concentrated on yourself to being open to something something a little a little wider and grander <laughs>